All right, in this guide, we're gonna be installing Windows 10 on a MacBook Pro, and this is a modern MacBook Pro, so everything should be nice and easy. If you do need a guide on installing Windows 10 on an older Mac, check out the links in the description below where I've installed it on an older Mac Pro from 2010. All right, let's get started. So first, command space, type in boot camp, and it's also suggested boot camp assistant, and that's what you wanna launch. Hit continue. Now something to know about this app, you can also go into action and download Windows support software if you wanna do this stuff manually. But again, we're gonna be doing this automated using boot camp assist. So what you need to do is specify how much space you wanna give Windows, and really you wanna get this right because it's really hard to change partition space once Windows has been set up. So I'm just gonna give it a nice meaty 100 gigabytes. And then you wanna select the ISO image of the Windows installer. If you don't have Windows already, you can go into Google, type in Windows 10, and get the official link from Microsoft. So if you see Microsoft.com, click on that guy. And the edition of Windows that I use is the April 2018. If you try using the October 2018, that tends to not work with Boot Camp. I'm gonna be installing it on battery power because I'm feeling adventurous, but I recommend you always have power plugged in. It's gonna go ahead now and download the Windows support software, partition the hard drive, and get ready to set up Windows. If you do get a partitioning error, there's a couple of things you can do. One, you can start up Disk Utility and run First Aid on your partition. Or what worked for me is just simply restarting my Mac. We're making some progress. All right, select your region. I am in Australia, so uh, where am I? I'm up there, boom shakalaka, yes. Just a moment. Keyboard, yeah, sounds good. Uh, no, next up, just a moment, skip. Give him a name. Now you'll be invited to let Microsoft spy on you with Cortana. I personally disable this. And, oh my days, uh, disable all of this stuff. Location, like, nope, nope, nope. Of course, uh, Microsoft still has the right to spy on you. So, you know, prepare to have some fun. We're almost done now, a few more things, and that's it pretty much. Our MacBook Pro is almost ready to go, Windows 10. Play some games. Hello, how are you doing? <laughs> We're getting everything ready for you. There you go. You'll now be prompted to install Boot Camp, and this has all the drivers for your MacBook Pro, and just let it do that. Install. After the graphics is installed, it will ask you to fix blurry apps. I just apply that straight away. There you go, boom, some stuff's happening. And we have to reset the system for all the drivers to be integrated. That is it, my friends. Windows 10 has now been installed. To get back to Mac, on the taskbar, you'll find a diamond. You click on it and you select restart back to Mac. You select OK and your PC should reboot back into macOS. However, if for some reason it doesn't work, turn off your machine, turn it back on, but hold down the Command, Alt, P and R keys together. At the same time, for about 20 seconds, you should see an Apple logo appear, then disappear, and then after that 20 seconds, it should reappear. Then you let go and it will force reset all your system and you'll go back to the Mac. So you can go into system preferences, start up disk, unlock, type in your password, and select bootcamp and restart. And that will go back straight into Windows. Alternatively, you can hold the Alt button while your Mac is starting up. 
and your boot selector screen will present Mac or Windows. Here just select Windows. What I now recommend doing is going ahead and customizing Windows 10, disabling all the extra features that you don't need. So for example, what is this people crap? You gotta right click that, show people on taskbar, that's one less thing to worry about. Account protection, this miss. Close that. Our OneDrive needs to get uninstalled. So let's let's go there and start with this situation. So I'm gonna go inside settings and I'm gonna start in system and just walk you through all the various options you can pick. So I don't like changing the brightness automatically. I like setting it to a certain amount. I don't like having reminders and all the notifications on show me Windows experience after updates and occasionally when I sign in highlight new and suggestion no I don't want to be advertised to get tips and scripts no I don't want to be spammed get notifications from apps and other no I don't want to get notifications from apps and other centers storage storage sense oh, it turns on automatically so I might as well just leave it turned on that's fine show that what I could step to next I'd disable that Show suggestions, no, I don't like suggestions. Stop spamming me. This PC can be discovered for protection. No, <laughs> don't advertise my PC on a network. Shared experience, disable that. Remote desktop, disable that. That's fine, we're good, we're getting somewhere. So you gotta get rid of Windows Spotlight. Choose a picture, I think that one looks pretty cool. Themes, font, start. Show suggestions, disable that. That's the worst one. Taskbar, I like command prompt. I don't like badges. Off, that's fine. Home again. Apps, now let's uninstall some apps. So I'm gonna uninstall Feedback Hub. What's that? Rubbish. Films and TV. Obviously, Windows has uh, the ability to reinstall apps nowadays, so I'm just going to delete as much as I can, but I'm also aware that OneDrive might come back. Solitaire, uninstall, sorry, I know you love it. Mixed reality, mobile plans, <laughs> what is that? My office, Oof, rubbish. OneNote, not for me. Paint 3D, uh, unfortunately can't install that. People, photos, Paint 3D again. Uninstall that. Skype, hate that. Uninstall. Sticky notes, uh, tips, definitely gonna uninstall that. Voice recorder. What's up? Weather, uninstall. I think that's it. We've uninstalled some stuff. Default apps, I don't have a choice at the moment. Offline maps, please do not have map updates. Thank you. Apps for websites, delete, delete. Some websites can be opened by an app. I don't like opening anything. Video playback. Uh, let's not turn anything on. Startup. Yep, these two are fine. All right, time and language. Set time, that's fine. Adjust daylight saving. My time zone isn't uh, that. Let's make it Australia, so it's plus 10. All right, we are getting closer. Gaming. Yeah, I like the game bar. Game bar's awesome. Game DVR captures, saves it there. Recording audio, uh, maximum recording length. Let's make it four, I like it longer. All right, ease of access, animations, scroll, desktop, cursor, magnifier, color, high contrast, narrator, speech, keyboard, allow shortcut to sticky keys is the worst feature ever, delete that. Uh, toggle keys. Not interested in that. Filter keys, don't care about that. Eye control, <laughs> amazing. <laughs> you can use Windows with your eyes. All right, Cortana, that should be off, please. Use Cortana, nope. Permissions and history, don't. Don't give them my device history, done, perfect. Help me pick where I left off the other devices, no. Do not advertise what I'm doing on my computer to other devices. Let websites, nope. Track app launches, nope. 
suggested content? Nope. Oh my god. Really, really. Anyway. Diagnostics basic, unfortunately, that is all that is all you can do. Activity history, collect my activities on a PC. No, <laughs> stop collecting my stuff. Location, camera. Oh man. Use apps to access my camera. Access my microphone. Notifications, account info. All right, got no choice really here. Uh, background the apps. These apps can run in the background. Then I, I install these apps, Paint 3D, and get help. Anyway, it's a losing battle. So that's that. So we want to go into update and security. Now that's the best one. So what I usually do is click on advanced options and. I go to the semi-annual channel because it's slower, it's ready for widespread use and I make the improvements as late as possible because if anyone knows anything, updates are usually very buggy. So the later you have an update, the better your system usually runs. Delivery optimization, disable that. All right, now that this stuff is good, I'm going to go type in uninstall and it's in control panel uninstall a program and I'll just see what programs we've missed out all these ones look pretty good so I'm gonna oh, go inside wow. bootcamp and I'm gonna click on bootcamp and control panel click on keyboard I like using my F keys and turn keyboard when not used in after one minute trackpad tap to click drag in drag log and, and two click. fingers secretary tap Boom. we got a good one now let's right click and properties of the PC and here I can change the settings the name of my computer so I'm going to change this computer Drop from this Chrome weird name win. done needs to be reset for the settings to adhere I'm gonna restart later and uh, Windows is already activated but I need to connect to the internet for it to be activated that's fine I allow remote assistance disable that don't allow remote connections System protection, advanced. To be honest, these, this is fine. Computer name, uh, we got a name coming up, so I don't need to worry about that. System protection, you know, we, we had a good run. So let's just restart our system to carry our name. Cairo Pro Win, or whatever you called it. Now that we've set Windows up, it is officially safe to log into your Wi-Fi and prepare for <laughs> updates, which will uh, mess everything up again. Now, if you've set up advanced updates to the semi-annual channel and delayed updates as much as possible, you should only get the essential ones using Windows Update. But of course, if you haven't done that, you know, <laughs> you're going to get some new versions. But look at all these changes coming through. Intel, Adobe Flash, Windows 10. Oh, man. But yeah, just make sure it's fully updated and everything should be good in the world.